Right now in St. Louis County alone, at least one in four has at least one dose of their vaccine. News 4 is watching out for you, asking what will allow us to get to that next and very much wanted step of normalcy. News 4's Alexis Zotos is live at 10 from Barnes Jewish. Well, right now, 213 people in the St. Louis region are hospitalized with COVID-19. That is drastically lower than the peak we saw earlier this winter, but it's still a number that is being cautiously watched by the leaders in our area as we look at the idea of reopening. And as we see more vaccinations, we're asking, are those metrics being used as we look at easing back on restrictions? Make good passes. From sports to graduations to prom, when we'll see a return to normal is the question St. Louis County parents want answered. You say the goalposts continue to move. I don't feel like we ever had a goalpost. I don't even feel like I was on the field. And so there isn't an answer to even give my children on when there is going to be an end to it. Shannon Robinson has been a vocal critic against restrictions in St. Louis County over the last year. What is the plan? There is a plan based on data to close businesses, to close the county, to enforce restrictions. So we're asking what is the plan to open based on data, open 100%, what does that look like? So we took her questions to the county health department. It is not as simple as one metric or one number. I know that there are people in the community who have been saying, give us the number, give us the number. And you know, it's not like that because there are numbers uh, that are as diverse as the number of hospitalizations, the number of fatalities, the percentage of people who get tested, who, who come up positive for COVID-19. Uh, those and a host of other uh, metrics are what we look at. We also have to look at our surrounding you know, counties. Right now, the county is averaging 140 new COVID cases a day. Previously, the county told News 4 under 100 was a goal to begin easing some restrictions. Our epidemiologists would actually like to see them under 20 a day. But with a record number of vaccinations, 18,000 just this week by the St. Louis County Health Department, will that data impact restrictions? If we reached herd immunity by May, by June, would that allow us to reopen? Well, it's certainly an important metric. Right now it's a hypothetical. You know, there again, it's not just one percentage. Hypothetical because we don't know when we could reach herd immunity, which experts say is about 75 to 80 percent of the community. As we mentioned right now, about 24 percent of St. Louis County has received at least one dose of that vaccination, and those numbers do continue to rise. As for graduations and proms, the county tells me that any event with more than 50 people must be approved by the county health department, but they say they are working with schools to try to make some of these events happen. Corey, Sam. Alexis Otis live for us in the Central West End tonight. Thank you.